All right, so today we're going to be taking a deep dive into some AI news that is seriously cool. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. We're talking DeepSeek, this yeah, company not. that's been pushing the boundaries of AI. And they really have. And their new model, DeepSeek R10. Yeah, it seems this model just had what we could only describe as an aha moment. Yeah. It sounds crazy, but like a sudden leap in understanding. Just like we humans experience. Which is wild. Yeah. What makes this so interesting, I think, is how they actually achieved it, right? Yeah. We're used to AI being trained on mountains of data created by us humans, yep. but DeepSeek's model did something a little different. Totally different. They use something called... Reinforcement learning, or RL for yeah. short. RL. Instead of spoon feeding the AI information, they basically let it loose in this playground of algorithms and code and let it learn through trial and error. It's kind of like teaching a dog a trick with only treats and praise. Right. No explicit instructions. Exactly. That's fascinating. And that's a big departure from how most AI models are trained today. Yeah. But DeepSeek didn't stop there. Of course not. They took this approach a step further with their own unique spin on reinforcement learning. Oh, okay. They call it GRPO. 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 Okay. You're going to have to like break that down for me a bit. Sure. What makes GRPO so special? Think of GRPO as like a super efficient, okay. fine-tuned version of traditional reinforcement learning. Okay. It basically helps the AI learn faster. Got it. And avoids some of the common pitfalls that you see with other methods. I see. And what's fascinating is how DeepSeek actually applied GRPO in this case. Okay. They gave their model DeepSeek R10 a pretty complex math problem to solve. And this is where the aha moment happened. Exactly. Yep. The model initially started down one path, a pretty standard approach to the problem, and then it did something remarkable. What did it do? It stopped or evaluated its strategy and came up with a completely novel oh, wow. and far more elegant solution all on its own. No way. This wasn't programmed. Yeah. It emerged organically from the learning process. That's amazing. It is pretty wild. Okay, so we've got AI independently developing its own problem-solving methods. Yeah. That's huge. It certainly raises some eyebrows. Yeah. It has a lot of people drawing comparisons to another breakthrough AI. What's that? Alpha Zero. Oh, yeah. Alpha Zero. Which mastered games like Go and chess. Alpha Zero, the AI grandmaster. Uh -huh. yeah. As I recall, Alpha Zero also developed its own strategies. It did. And ones that often went against like traditional human strategy. Precisely. And those strategies proved incredibly effective. Yeah. Leading Alpha Zero to dominate even seasoned human players. Wow. What's interesting is that both Alpha Zero and DeepSeek R10, they both achieved these breakthroughs by like deviating from mimicking human approaches. Oh, interesting. They came up with their own unique solutions. So is this a sign that AI is starting to think outside the human box? Right. Developing its own intelligence, so to speak? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It really is. And DeepSeek, to their credit, is leaning into that conversation. Well, and their whole approach yeah. is based on open source research. Yeah. I mean, they're making all their findings, their code, Everything. Everything publicly available. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome when you think about it. It's great. Yeah. It really fosters this transparency. Yeah. It allows the wider AI community to really scrutinize their methods, yeah. build upon their work, and contribute to the conversation. It's yeah. like DeepSeek is saying, here's what we've discovered. Let's explore this together. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's get back to this aha moment. Okay. What exactly happened with DeepSeek R10 and this math problem? So... Can we dive a little deeper into the specifics? Yeah, we can definitely dive a little deeper. Well, DeepSeek R10 was working on a problem related to topological spaces. Topological spaces. Yeah. Okay, you got to, like, dumb that down for me a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about, like, shapes and spaces, right? Sort of imagine trying to classify shapes, not just by like how they look, okay, but by their like fundamental properties, right. like how many holes they have or like how they can be deformed. Okay. That's getting closer to what topology is about. I'm vaguely following. Okay. So what happened? How did the AI have this aha moment while working with these... Topological spaces. Topological spaces, yeah. So DeepSeek R10 was trying to prove a theorem. A theorem? Yeah, a statement that needed to be mathematically proven. Okay. Initially, it seemed to be going down a very traditional path using established methods. So it was following the human playbook, essentially. Exactly. But then it paused. It paused. Yeah, and in that pause, something incredible happened. What? It shifted gears completely. Oh, wow. Abandoning its initial approach for a completely new method. Wow. This new method was more elegant, more efficient, 
and ultimately led to a successful proof of the theorem. So it's not just that the AI solved the problem, it's how it solved it. Right. It broke away from like human taught techniques. Yeah. And developed its own more sophisticated approach. That's what's so remarkable. And to be honest, even the DeepSeek team was surprised by this development. Really? They hadn't programmed the AI to like specifically look for novel solutions, let alone invent its own mathematical techniques. That's what makes this feel so different from, say, like, an AI that beats a human at chess. Right. This feels like a different kind of intelligence at play. It does, doesn't it? And this is where the discussions about the nature of intelligence and the potential of AI really heat up. Yeah. What does it mean for a machine to have an aha moment? And to be clear, we're talking about an AI that didn't just like stumble upon a new solution. Right. But one that seemingly understood the elegance and efficiency of its approach. Precisely. It wasn't just blind luck. Yeah. There was a level of understanding and intentionality behind the shift in strategy. Okay. And that's what has so many people talking about whether this brings us closer to something like artificial general intelligence AGI. AGI. The mm -hmm. kind of AI that can truly think like a human not just accept, like, like specific tasks. Right now, it's important to emphasize that we are still a long way from AGI. Yeah. But this kind of development, an AI breaking free from its human-taught constraints and coming up with its own creative solutions, yeah. certainly fuels those discussions. And remember, DeepSeek has published all their findings, their methods, and even their code. They have. So the whole AI community and anyone else who's interested yeah. can dive into this. Absolutely. And explore the implications. Yeah, this is a conversation that's only going to get more interesting from here on out. I agree. And while we're still deciphering the full implications of DeepSeek's discovery, yeah. it's clear that we've entered a new chapter in the story of AI. You know what I find so exciting about all this is the sense of possibility. Yeah. If AI can make these kinds of leaps in understanding in mathematics, yeah. Yeah. what other fields could it revolutionize? What other breakthroughs are waiting to be unlocked? Yeah. It really does feel like we're on the verge of something big, doesn't it? It does. This deep seek breakthrough. Yeah. It's not just about solving some math problem. Right. It's about like what it says about the potential of AI. I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. We often think of AI as this tool to automate tasks, yeah. make our lives easier and whatnot. Right. But DeepSeek's work, it kind of suggests something a little more profound. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, what if AI could become a partner in discovery, oh, helping not... us unlock new knowledge and understanding wow. in ways that we haven't even imagined yet? That's a really compelling thought. It is. I mean, imagine like AI collaborating mm -hmm. with scientists, mathematicians, artists, yep. and pushing the boundaries of like human knowledge and creativity. Absolutely. And think about like the practical implications. I mean, we've already seen AI make significant contributions in fields like medicine, right. engineering, yeah. finance. But if AI can develop this kind of independent reasoning, this ability to have those aha moments, yeah, the potential impact is almost limitless. We could be talking about accelerating scientific breakthroughs. Right. Developing entirely new technologies. Yeah. Even solving some of the world's most pressing problems. Absolutely. Of yeah. course, with any powerful technology, there are considerations. Sure. Things we need to be mindful of as we move forward. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's important to make sure AI is developed and used responsibly and ethically. Exactly. But I think DeepSeek is setting a good example with their commitment to open source research. I agree. Transparency and collaboration are key. Yeah. By making their work accessible to the wider community, they're yeah. inviting scrutiny, discussion, right. and collective responsibility. Yeah. That's essential as we navigate this exciting and sometimes uncertain terrain of AI development. So where do we go from here? What's like the next chapter in this story? Well, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. The future is unwritten. DeepSeek has opened a door revealed a new possibility. Okay. Now it's up to the global AI community, researchers, developers, ethicists, yeah. society as a whole to step through that door and explore what lies beyond. That's a great point. This deep, deep seek development has definitely given me a lot to think about. It's definitely fascinating. It's exciting. It's a little bit daunting, but most of all, it's filled with possibility. And that's the feeling I hope our listeners take away from this deep dive. Yeah. A sense of wonder a spark of curiosity, and an invitation to join the ongoing conversation about the future of AI. Beautifully put. And on that note, we've reached the end of our deep dives into DeepSeek's AI aha moment. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us on this journey. It's been fun exploring this topic with you. And to our listeners, keep exploring, keep questioning, 
and stay tuned for our next deep dive into the world of knowledge and discovery.